Um, so a year ago, or a year and three months ago, the Sunday Telegraph asked me to do a piece on Bruce when they heard I was going to see him for the 72nd time or whatever. And look, there it is. Most of a page and a pretty picture with the boss behind me. And I think you can still get it, actually. I'm sure that if you Google Mark Nicholas Bruce Springsteen, Sunday Telegraph, something like that, you can get the piece. Maybe we should put it up on the kicker. Um, anyway, look what I got from his management after that piece. There is the set list of that show in Coventry, handwritten by Bruce. Cool, though. So why? Well, I don't know. It's difficult to describe how a musician, how a sound can lift you. Um, can make the good times even greater, can improve the bad times. Um, I've had one or two cricket moments. Do you know, I was walking out to bat in an England A test match against Sri Lanka in Kandy, and Mike Selby, the former Middlesex and England bowler, who was by then a journalist with The Guardian, we were fighting to save the game, and I was not out at lunch. He got the PA to play No Surrender. <laughs> um, we drifted out of class, trying to get away um, from those rules. We learned more from a three-minute record than we ever learned at school. Um, and he played another Springsteen song, two actually, in the tea break. Because believe it or not, I was still not out of tea. I know, I, it doesn't sound likely, but it's the truth. Um, and so he's given me a lot, really, um, you know, outside of family close friends, he's kind of the love of my life, and uh, I think probably will be for forevermore.